Holding five. Needle step yeah, there Jones. from Hastings. Entomac waits for it. Oh, and he spelt it. Referee playing the advantage there. Perfect kick. Pressure from Johnston. The eye came off the ball. Just wait for the left for me, and okay? he's taking a wait little the knock there. The we have been told that Entomac is not coming back. So the alteration. Jalibert for Entomac is now a permanent one. Well, he's brought it round very neatly. That's two from two for Master Hastings. Scotland lead by six points to nil. Dan looks happy. That's LaRue. Back tower. Power runner after power runner. Dupont with the kick across. It's quite brilliant. Damien Pinot scored two tries here in a World Cup warm-up in August. He's got the first this afternoon. Well, you have to say that France were absolutely clinical in that attack. The accuracy that we've seen throughout the Six Nations returns in this one special moment. Well, something's clearly happened. You can see Richie's in there. Well, it is the punch, or a hint of one for Mohamed Hawass. We'll, we'll play this for you again and see if we can get a contact point. Direct contact to the head, it is ripped out. Hastings. Oh, Hastings has breezed through. Inside the 22. Now, can they get quick ball? It's there with That's Gilchrist. Hogg, surely this time. Johnson out wide, and Maitland goes into the corner. It's looking like one of those great Murrayfield days. Doddy Weir enjoying it. France get their opening try. France down to 14. Here's Harris. Harris has gone through the gap. He's got support inside. Ali Price pins his ears back. Across comes Boutier. A super fullbacks tackle. The ball still alive. Harris scooped it up. Johnson plays scrum half. Richie, there's a man over. It's Maitland, and he goes in again. Well, what excitement rippling through Murrayfield at this moment in time. And Sean Maitland goes in for his second try. It was an absolute perler, wasn't it? Because it was the captain, Stuart Hogg, who found the space down that far side. Here was Hogg. Talki Fenua, Janet there, a little bit of space here. Boutier storming through the middle. That man, Hamish Watson, getting back to make the tackle. And Janet Bear then just fires it straight into the gut of Hayes. And the found some space there with Botti, didn't he? Oh, it's taken on by McAnally! Surely that is it now for Scotland. And they're well on the way to victory here. The ricochet that comes off, McAnally out sprinting Dupont. Again, a mistake by France at the line. They're under pressure there. The ball can't be taken. And McAnally, well, he's not going to score an easier try for Scotland than that one. This is a very different oh, French side. There's Olivon. Can he power his way over? He can. Paul Williams 
blows his whistle for the end of the match.